Now it's at 5,755. Come on. What's up, guys? So last time we did the Nerd Q Axe, the regular version with just a fan. Now this time we have the Nerd Q Axe Plus Plus from ASL Miner. So go ahead and check this one out in the description of the video as well. We will be putting it inside the fridge once more and do some overclocking to see. Now, is it worth it? And how far could we overclock it for it to stay at like the optimal temperature or the safe temperature to do that? Okay, so guys, we are now doing the Nerd QX++ Hydro version. And as you can see, we are currently at 44.9 degrees Celsius for the ASIC temp and at 51.8 degrees Celsius for the VR temp. Now, what I actually did is I changed the target temperature to 45. I could even go lower than that. And one thing that I noticed is that for the Nerd QX Hydro version, it's easier to get the temperature lower if you put it inside the fridge compared to just the fan version. So let us try to, let's try to do like, just for fun, do the 40 degrees temperature target before we start tweaking, overclocking this bad boy. So as you can see guys, right now, we are at 4,700 or 4,800 now. And then the expected is just the default, which is the 4,896 giga hash. Um, so like 4.8 tera hash for the Nerd QX++ Hydro version. So right now, the fan RPM is at 1,874. VR temp still looking very, very good. So 51.3. And then ASIC temp is at 44.6. Let's for it a little bit to see how far it will go down in terms of the temperature. Now, the fridge is set to maintain a temperature of 1 degree Celsius. So I actually am thinking of also doing another video and putting this hydro version inside the freezer, how you know how low we could go and how far we could go in terms of like overclocking this thing. So now we are at 4,900. So again, guys, we are still at the default frequency and core voltage for this unit. Okay, 44.5 and 50.9. Wow, it's still going lower and lower. Okay, so right now it's at 44 degrees. So that's how it looks like when the light inside the fridge is turned on. Okay, so 44.4 degrees Celsius for the ASIC temp, 50.7 degrees for the VR temp. Now it's just slowly lowering down the temperature. I'm not sure if it's going to reach that 40 degrees that we're targeting, but I guess it could work uh, with just a 44-ish degree Celsius temperature for the ASIC and start doing the overclock for this one. So I'm not gonna change this target temperature of uh, 40 degrees, that way it's going to automatically adjust the fan. Actually, let me do this. Let us try to manually do the fan speed to 100% and see for ourselves if that magic could actually lower down the temperature some more. Okay, still at 44.4. It's been there for like, I think uh, almost a minute now. 4,700 for the hash rate. Most likely, the lowest temperature that we could get out of the fridge that is set at 1 degree. Now, let's start doing the overclocking. Okay, so danger zone. Let's do, let's just do 650 for this. And um, this one, let's do 1200. Let's just make the manual. I'll make the fan mode manual, maintain that. Okay, so right now we have already saved the changes. And as you can see, the ASIC temperature is now rising. The VR temperature should also rise. Okay, the hash rate is at 45, 28 right now. And the expected is already set at 5,385. Actually, you know what? What we did for the Nerd QX++ the fan version let's try to do that here see if it could reach that let's do 700 is that the one that we did for now again if you want to um, overclock your 
NerdQX++, guys, do it at your own risk. But I recommend that, you know, um, not to simply because it might just instead of, you know, having a good lifespan might lower down or it might sh make the, the lifespan shorter compared to, of course, I mean, the, the default. Okay, so let's do that. Now we are at 1250 core voltage and frequency at 700. You will see. Wow, look at this. Power is at 103, almost 104 watts. Okay, so 5,000, I mean, yeah, 5,712. Let's do that. Um, let's do 720 to reach the 5,800. Okay, so 5875. Power is at 106.6 watts, guys. ASIC temp still, you know, pretty low. VR temp, though, is at 60.6 and still rising. This VR temp, I'm expecting to go past 62 degrees simply because it doesn't have its own fan, okay? It's going to be totally different if it has its own fan. Actually, should I? I mean, should I, like, put a fan there? <laughs> okay, now it's at 62.1. Let's lower down the core voltage to 1200. I mean, don't push it that much. Okay, that way it's going to stay stay around, like, 61-ish to 62, right? And um, let me get a fan. Okay, so guys, right now, um, there is a fan in front of the VR temp. So as you can see, we are now at 55.4. So we could uh, make it a little higher. So maybe 1270 and see for yourself, you know. Again, I do not want to push this drastically. So let's just try to increase it, you know, just a little bit every time. And right now we are hashing at 5,198. 5,230 now. Uh, it should go higher and higher, okay? So ASIC temp is at 50.2 and VR temp is at 56.6. Now this ASIC temp is really doing very well, okay? So power is at one, at 112 watts already. 113 now, still doing well, 5,260 giga hash for this. This is very relaxed. I mean, this ASIC temperature, 113 watts, look at that. It's like all the way up. Now, of course, if you want to, um, you know, raise the power higher um, and overclock it more, you're going to have to get um, a better power supply than the one or that the, than the stock uh, power supply that goes along with your miner because it just you know, could just go like all the way until a certain wattage that is regulated for. So VR temperature is at 57.8. An ASIC temp right around 51 is the one that you can see. Hashing at 5,400 now, 5,409. Now let's see if, you know, with all the settings that we did, if it could even go close to that 5,875 giga hash that is expected. But at times, I mean, surprisingly, uh, if you still have the default settings set for your um, NerdQX++, it may spike. So right around like 5,600, but then it's not gonna, you no, know, of course, maintain that for so long. It goes down and then um, goes back to its regular hash rate, like 4, 6, 4, 8, 5,000. That's what I um, noticed since I had this one. But right now, the power, it is supposed to be, um, as default, you will get around 80-ish to 85, um, 85 watts. Of, of power now as you can see it is at 1113 watts asic temp is still at a very good optimal range vr temp still good i mean it's not even at 59 or 60 degrees which is very decent and that is because i place a fan like um in, in front of it so something is blowing cold air into those voltage regulators and um i also placed uh some copper heat sinks already on uh, those voltage regulators to help dissipate the heat. So now we are at 4, 000, uh, 5,400. It went to as, as high as I think as 5,448 earlier. So let's give it some time. See if it's, you know, if it's going to be able to get to that 5,875 um, giga hash rate. At the 
of the stock, okay, the stock voltage regulator that uh, we have for that for that miner. So fan speed very still very relaxed. It's at look at this 1,839. Oh look at that! It's at 5,596 already. Getting close. The one thing I like about this miner compared to the um like the regular Nerd QX plus plus is all those RGB lights and the funky you know heat sink uh because it's the AIO water cooled uh type of Nerd QX plus plus. So it has that swagger. I mean I like the design. So if you have it like in your living room, it really looks very very cool so guys 5700 right now okay we're getting close oh my gosh look at that 5708 okay now it went down probably i jinxed it <laughs> so the efficiency is at 19.62 joules per terahash now it's at 5755 fun 5819 it's getting close and it's not it's not raising the temperature vr temp still at 58.2 asic temp at 51.1 Power is still at 113. Okay, so the settings is at 720 and 1270 for the core voltage. Okay, 5700 again. Oh, this could be like an optimal range for the overclocking. I mean, if you have that ambient temperature of right about maybe 1 to 5 degrees, and then you have those fan, the water cooled type of uh, Nerd QX, it's gonna give you all these readings so oh it went down so 5577 it's like doing full full throttle right now but at least we were able to get super close to our goal which is the 5875 we went as close as 5700 plus so i'm not gonna be surprised if we leave this um running that it's going to spike to 5900 to 6,000 giga hash at one point and then go back to like right around 5,600. If, it, if it's going to do like 5,600 on average, it's going to be very, very good. Look at that, 5,732. 5,754, that's going down again. Okay, so constant at 113 watts. Temperatures are still good. It's not changing. I mean, very stable, 51.1 degrees Celsius and then 58.3. So this is from the fridge, guys. If it's going to be inside the freezer, it's going to be lower. And, you know, it's going to be more efficient so stay tuned for that make sure to subscribe to the channel guys i'm gonna do another experiment putting the nerd qx plus plus hydro version inside the freezer i'm also going to check out the 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 air the wind version the regular or the stock version of the nerd qx plus plus and then put them side by side see like the differences you know in terms of the hash rate the temperature um, the min like the maintaining temperature of the two different Nerd QX plus plus types. So right now we are at five thousand five hundred and ninety nine giga hash. So very very good. I mean I mean it's it's, it's maintaining that five thousand. I I would say you know five thousand five hundred to five thousand six hundred giga hash. Oh, now it went down to five thousand four. I keep on jink jinxing it <laughs> five five uh, five four four five all right so if you like this types of content guys and if you have you know anything that you would like me to try out with the nerd qx plus plus or the bit x um feel free to go ahead and put it in the comment section if you like this kind of contents don't forget to smash that like button head on over to the channel guys i make a lot of cryptocurrency contents um pre-sales ideos cryptocurrency mining i have also two ant miner sk uh s19k or s19k pro that i will also be setting up so stay tuned for that one consider subscribing that way you will not miss out on any of the contents that i upload in the future i will see you on the next i'm out peace